what's up guys i'm bok so today we are featuring a company called lumiere hair um and i have their 360 body wave wig uh the hair is a little damp right here because i just washed off the excess got to be glued um but today i'm going to show you guys a little trick those are always the fave um on how to secure the back of your 360 wig without actually having to secure it if that makes sense like without having to put any type of gel or glues or anything back there to keep it down um that way you can put it in ponytails and things of that nature so this is the wig right here um as you can see it has combs on the sides and then a comb in the back and then of course it has the adjustable straps please don't mind my broken fingernails i'm getting them done tomorrow so what you want to do is bring the adjustable strap from the well this is my right this is going to be you guys' left and bring it all the way over to the second loop on the left you're going to do the same thing for the left side and bring it over to the right okay make sure it's hooked in there correctly and they should be crossed and it should look like this so now, I'm going to go ahead and apply the wig. Now, when you, you'll feel the difference from when you just have the adjustable straps like normal and then versus cross like how we just did them. Like you'll feel an immediate difference. It's like super duper tight and snug, and it feels like it's not going anywhere, especially when you uh, finish got to be gluing or gluing it down with whatever you put your wig down with. So, just showing you guys. Kinda how it looks, like that. And I'm going to secure it with my Gatsby glue and then I will be back. All right, guys, I'm back and the wig is down. So I just want to show you guys um, really quick what this tip consists of. So with the 360 wig, So with the 360 wig, they usually come with baby hairs in the back. This one doesn't have any baby hairs, so I'm just going ahead and kind of grabbing out some hairs really quick around the back. And you can cut them if you like. I don't know if you care to. But this is basically so you can pull it up without it being detected back here. And if you want to, you can add some bobby pins or anything like that. Um, honestly, I don't even care to... Um, pull the hairs out in the back because usually when I wear a ponytail I don't wear it high anyway but it's just so it's um undetectable and uh if this had baby hairs in the back it probably would make it a little bit more easier to be unseamless but y'all look at this wig look how flat it's laying wow 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 But for this wig, it's like the hair is so like silky and lightweight. It's still kind of wet, but silky and lightweight to where I don't even have to straighten it. And I can actually just wear it as is in the rain or not even in the rain, just outside period. Because it has like this little natural little wave to it and it's cute and it's lit. So uh, I will leave all the uh, information and everything um in the description box for this hair company um but i just wanted to show you guys really quick um my little tip or trick 
um, to easily secure your um, 360 wig just really quick without actually having to glue it down and all that extra stuff. And if you're like me, you have the little curlies in the bag, just go ahead and brush those up and then pull the wig down so that it's easier not to see it. I don't know if that made sense. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey. 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 Hey.